98% from the field for the game, gentlemen. Wow. 109 to 102, the Bucks win it. Let's take a listen to post-game sound. What was it about this game, this defense, or your offense that just had everything going for you? I was just trying to be, stay aggressive, trying to make the right play, put myself uh, in good position offensively, and put my teammates in good position offensively also. With some injuries, you guys have had a rough start to the season. With a couple of days off since your last loss, how important was this game just to get things steadied and some momentum going a month into the season? It feels good. It's good to have Chris back. It's good to win. Uh, it's good to play good basketball. It's good to go out there, compete offensively and defensively. We just got to keep, you know, get back on track and uh, build, up, build out of this. You mentioned Chris Middleton, who had missed eight games with health and safety protocols. What does his presence do for your game and for your team? He just draws a lot of attention. Chris is so good offensively. He's going to make the right play. And people are worried about him. So, so it just makes it easier for me and Drew and Bobby for the rest of the team. So it's good to have him back. Remember I said 78% right. from the field? This is what that looks like. Pew, as Smitty would say, pew. I oh can't hear that sound God. effect that Smitty pew, go, pew, pew. Yeah, Smitty pew. got it right. But, but, guys, you understand that Giannis has taken his game to another level each year, and his shot chart proves it. Three of four from three-point range, eight of 11 from the free throw line. So all the things we may have nitpicked on the last couple of years, he's worked on, Sam. So if you give him a three-point shot, he'll take it. He's not overtaking the three-point shot like he did maybe a few years ago, but he's taking the ones in stride and the flow of the game. Now he's three or four tonight. The thing I respect and love about Giannis, he doesn't overthink the game. For example, you mm -hmm. talking about that dunk Anthony Davis made. Most guys would not have even try Anthony mm -hmm. Davis in front, 6'11". You know you can't block it. But Giannis is going to go after anyway. You watch him right here. He took this game personal night, 3D. He's playing against Anthony Davis, who a lot of people consider the best power forward in the league. And this is the best power forward. This guy just destroyed the Los Angeles Lakers front line. And that's something, when you start looking at AD, who got voted top 75, Dwight Howard, Hall of Fame on that team, and still Russell Westbrook. But the best player in that building tonight was Giannis. Look at this. Just attack, attack, attack. Make the referee. I know AD thought he didn't foul, but when you understand that I'm going to get to the paint, it's not one person, not two people, and I'm willing to share. Because, look, you see how THT had to go to Drew Holiday because we know he can knock down that three. Let me ask you this. If, if I'm guarding Giannis, if I'm Anthony Davis, and the matchup is for me to guard Giannis, there's no guard can set a screen and force me to switch. I would run that dude over. This guy had 47 tonight on me All right, after winning the NBA championship last year. Anthony Davis got to start taking this stuff personal, man, because people are taking the game personal. They're going at Anthony Davis. He's got to remember, you're not only Anthony Davis. You have the Los Angeles Lakers jersey on the front. People are going to go after you because of that jersey and then <laughs> who you are. True. It is true. And it's early. We keep saying that. But, gentlemen, you know, it stays early for about that long. <laughs> exactly. It's game 16 right there. Right? Fall sleep and wake up. It's all star That's break. right. That's exactly right. It'll be very interesting to see what happens, especially when LeBron James comes back in the lineup. He did look very good in those pregame warm-ups. It was an ankle injury, so the movement, the lateral movement that we saw looked really good. All right, let's, let's see what this tweet says from Dave McMenamin. Ask LeBron James on his way out of the arena tonight if Friday in Boston indeed would be the day he returns to lineup. Quote, I hope. I hope. Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. You know he's messing with you, Dave. Yeah. 